Welcome back to another video. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and pull the motor out of the Nissan 300ZX. So this will be the first time, this will be the last time it ever runs under NA power. Uh, I actually sourced the buyer for the engine. They're coming next week, so I got I have to get this motor out this weekend. Uh, Jonah's not here to help me for this first part. This is gonna take a couple days, I think. And so I'm trying to get as much done tonight as I can. Uh, and then I'll have some more help tomorrow. So. The goal for today is to try and get the hood off, try to get the bumper off, try to get the car raised up, um, get all the fluids drained, and then hopefully if I have enough time, I can also get the wire harness pulled out of the inside of the car. Uh, so we'll try to get that done tonight. Um, like I said, someone's coming by next weekend to buy the motor, and then um, I've got uh, the engine block should be uh, done pretty soon. So what we'll do is we'll pull the motor, we'll drop the car off at paint, have the engine bay painted, um, and then throw the motor in. So good to finally be making progress. Um, hopefully it doesn't take us too much time to pull this motor, we'll see. All right, so current progress, it's the next day. Uh, worked for a few hours on it last night. Um, got the oil drained, got the radiator fluid drained, got the radiator pulled out, uh, got the intake pulled out. Um, and then pulled the battery out. Uh, so we'll keep working on it. Uh, highly recommend when you do something like this that you um, you keep a pen and paper handy to write down things that you need to fix or buy. And then also, you know, little Ziploc bags with um, all the parts that you pulled out so you can label them and you know what's what. Uh, so again, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do a... Uh, step by step on this on specifically like how to do this because there's so many write-ups online i'm just going to kind of walk you through the progress plus it makes for a much shorter video uh but again you know pulled a couple things out I, today i'm hoping to get the motor out so what i'm gonna start working on is the exhaust and the start i'm gonna drop the starter uh drop the exhaust pull the engine all the bolts that connect the engine to the transmission uh, oh yeah. Also, we pulled these liners out now. Uh, I'm going to. I want all this stuff down in here to get painted, to get repainted. So I'm going to pull the bumper off and all the crap that's uh, in there. I'm going to pull all that stuff off. So when I drop it off at the in, uh, painters, they can paint all inside of here and refresh it, make it look nice and new. Uh, but you don't have to do that if you're pulling your motor. Obviously, uh, just stick to the stuff that is holding the motor into the car. All right. So John finally decided to join us. Finally woke up, he's helping with the engine pull, and we also have Oz, maybe you'll see him in a second. Uh, so current status is, we've got um, pretty much everything pulled to get it out. So what I ended up doing was, I pulled the alternator and the compressor and the power steering pump to give me a little bit more clearance, plus I need those parts. Uh, then cleared out everything, disconnected all the wires I could on the side. Our plan here is to pull the motor with the harness out. So uh, if you look back here, here's the wire harness where it leaves the firewall. It basically wraps around and then goes into the engine. And this saves you a little bit of time because you don't have to basically completely disassemble uh, all the exterior stuff on the motor. But you do have to come inside uh, and then you got to pull the ECU out and make sure all those wires are, are loose and good to go. Uh, so we did that. Um, we've got the cherry picker out here. There's parts all over the place. Uh, we're going to try to pull this sucker out. What do you think, Jonah? I think it's going to be very difficult and a challenging experience. It's going to suck. Yeah, it's going to suck. All right, one thing to point out. If you're going to pull this motor while leaving the engine wire harness on, there's brackets that hold this wire harness up against the firewall. Now, um, three of them you can get to while the motor is still in. And I'm, I want to make sure the guy who gets this motor uh, knows this so when he puts it in, it'll make life a little easier for him. But 
so those those three there's one on the very far right and then there's one a little bit closer in from the right and then there's one on the very far left but then john if you show them down here the rest of these you're probably not going to be able to get to uh so i recommend if you're going to install the engine with this harness still on it that you set the motor right here a little bit far forward with no motor mounts on it just like we have it um and then connect these that hold the harness in and then when you settle it all the way in then you get the one to the very far left the one to the very far right and then one second from the far right if that makes any sense so hopefully you can figure that out okay we finally got the motor out uh what we end up having to do a couple things is right here the power steering rack and pinion was in the way so we unbolted it undid all the wires so that way we could get enough clearance for the oil pan because the oil pan was hitting right here uh and no and whenever we jacked it up the transmission was hitting the firewell so we had to basically give it a little bit of clearance so we like i said we unbolted those we removed the rubber and we were able to get all the way out another thing that we had to do too is just like i was talking about those brackets right so these freaking brackets right here the wire harness comes out of this hole it runs along the firewall it goes behind this all right come over here show me the engine all right so here's the engine right let me turn so they can get a better view. So here's the wire harness. All right, as you can see from right here, uh, we had to pull the wire har harness out of the car, which was not easy. So if you're going to do this, I'd recommend before you even start doing a couple things. First, um, Oz, will you grab that plug over there? First, take the plug. This there's a there's three plugs. There's a little tiny plug. Unplug the brown plug that comes on there to give yourself a little bit more space, which is this brown plug right here, and then this plug right here deep in it right so i deep it i took a photo of it so i know where all the colors go basically you just uh pull the yellow plug off of there and if you look down there, there's little tabs you push the little tabs pull the wire out right that's going to make it uh, a little easier to come out because it kept getting stuck right here and then also take that plastic clear cover off of here that's going to give you a little bit more room so once you do that you know two hours later you'll have the wire harnessed out you'll be covered in sweat but yeah you'll have it out. the old tape that was around it kind of like was got bad and kept them bunching as well so we had to take some yes off. yes that's another thing too the the sleeve that's on here it just kept getting caught up so i just end up cutting it all off and then pulling it out nice and slow so and it's part of it pretty much it's like it connects to the connects together so it's like sometimes it's a little bit easier just to pop it off like if you can get to it if you can't just cut it yeah take that thing off you could always recover it in plastic so anyways there it is the mo there's the motor joe give them a spin around a couple things to point out about this motor as you can see it does have a lightweight flywheel on it and you could see where the starter was it. yeah it was making that grinding it's noise like, which is it's kind of interesting like it's on some but not all so i don't know that's a nice flywheel too it looks like a lightweight flywheel but probably could still use it as long as uh, you can deal with. Well, I think if you had a starter that lined up right, then it would just seat into the right grooves. But eventually these would just get worn down. But I don't know. So that's it. Uh, motor's going to a new home. Hopefully the guy enjoys it as much as I did. And uh, yeah, that's it. We got the motor out. Finally. <laughs>